Right guys, so today we are going to be having a look at all the brand new operators in Modern Warfare 3 and how you can go ahead and unlock them. We've actually had all the ways to go ahead and unlock them leak, which is awesome. So we can be pre-prepared and as soon as the game is launched, you guys can go ahead and unlock these as quick as you possibly can. And if you're actually watching this video after the game is launched, then better still, you guys now have the full look on how you can go ahead and unlock all of these, which is pretty damn awesome. But if you are new around here, guys, and if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and if, if you do find this video useful definitely go ahead and drop a like on today's video that'd be very much appreciated with all being said let's jump right into it so first of all then guys there's gonna be four operators you actually can't get at all from launch day in fact you can only get them if you pre-order the vault edition of the game however you potentially can go ahead and unlock these in the game later down the line maybe they'll fetch some challenges in where people can unlock them or alternatively there'll be some skins you can purchase through the store now those four are going to be price good Ghost, Warden and Makarov. Now if you have pre-ordered the game you will be able to go ahead and unlock them like mentioned but from the launch you won't be able to go ahead and unlock these at all. Now you also would be able to go ahead and get the lockpick operator which is a PS5 only bundle so if you have got PS5 you can actually go ahead and unlock this and you can also get the endowment pack as well which is a free pack if you are currently serving in the military or are a veteran so you can actually go ahead and unlock this right away so the, all those are kind of like what you can buy or exclusive to PlayStation etc um, so i thought i'd get them ones out of the way first before we discuss everything else and how you can go ahead and unlock them obviously there's going to be a lot of different operators you can unlock some you will be able to unlock right away um so the list of operators like i said there's 25 operators i do believe that's been added into the game and that is including of course likes of pricing ghosts etc uh warden and macro but with all being said then let's discuss how you can go ahead and unlock all of them so first of all then guys the blueprint and rocket are available right away from launch uh blaze and thirst also available from launch as well so you do get four operators that you don't need to do anything and you do get them right away from launch now all these operators you probably could do them all in one game that's how easy it is barring a couple that you can't do in multiplayer most of these are all unlockable in multiplayer and very easy to do and you probably will not even realize that you've unlocked them and you've just randomly done them in game so then first of all then byline you do get three hit fire kills with an smg in one multiplayer game that's what you'll need to go ahead and do to go ahead and unlock byline and then to go ahead and unlock scorch you'll need to complete classified missions in zombies now that is the same as ripper as well you would have to complete that one in zombies by doing classified missions of course it's in the title they are classified missions so we're not gonna exactly know what you have to do until you hop into uh, modern warfare 3 zombies so we'll have to wait just a little bit longer to go ahead and find that out now to go ahead and unlock pathfinder you will need to head to the crash site mission so if you haven't already played the campaign if you haven't got that uh, unlocked early um, you will have to head over to the campaign which doesn't take too long to complete in all honesty it took me about two three hours if that um, and the pathfinder crash site mission hop into that and uh, you'll be able to go ahead and unlock that just by completing that mission and then riptide you do need to just get one kill with a cruise missile in multiplayer so as simple as that barbecue you will need to kill one enemy affected by your tactical in multiplayer jabber you do need to complete danger close in campaign so that's another campaign one you can do and then jet you do need to actually go ahead and get five kills in one multiplayer game with sniper now obviously it can be within any game in multiplayer that's the same with all of them and like i say you do need five kills with a sniper with that one in one game so alpine you do need to get three crouch kills in one game in multiplayer and ignima you need to get three kills while aiming down sights in multiplayer as well now at the minute bantam is currently unknown it does look like it is going to be another multiplayer challenge Challenge, that's what has been leaked but in regards to Bantam nothing is for certain exactly how we're going to be able to go ahead and unlock this uh, but we'll get those further details as of launch of the game in fact if what I'll do is on the launch of the game I'll probably recover this video anyway so if there's any changes or if there's anything new or anything I've missed then I can go ahead and discuss all that with yourselves going forward so the dock then you do need to go ahead and complete the high-rise mission like I said very simple to do another campaign one um, and then with the last couple of ones that we've got guys so the raptor you do need to get two kills with a frag in one multiplayer game so it doesn't have to be a double kill with a frag grenade it can be two separate kills uh, with your frag grenades of course so you need to complete the reactor in campaign so the reactor mission in campaign you do need to go ahead and un and complete that to unlock of course so and then lastly guys swagger you do need 10 kills in multiplayer uh, in one multiplayer map with an lmg so like i said they are very straightforward for example you can literally do raptor swagger 
Tiger, probably in one game. You could also do Jet in one game, you know, get an LMG, sniper kills, get your frag kills, get your tactical kills. You probably could complete maybe four or five of these all in one game, if not all of them in one game, which is going to be very simple, very quick and very easy to do. Like I say, campaign takes probably, say, three, four hours to complete. And so very simple. Plus with the campaign, there's also a lot of rewards you can unlock with that. Double weapon XP tokens, double XP tokens, calling cards, emblems, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's a lot that you can go ahead and unlock it. Now, so like I say, you do get Price, Ghost, Warden and Macroft, all from um, pre-ordering the game, the Vault Edition. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of new operators actually get added into the game. All the existing operators that we do have, all the current bundles, all of them are transferring over from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. So there's going to be a lot transferring over already. So you've got 23 in the spec group and then you've got 27 in Kartak. So there's a lot of operators you guys can go ahead and unlock. And if you haven't unlocked all the current ones, the challenges that are on there will carry over into the brand new game. Or if you have to purchase so you know certain ones through the bundles, potentially those might come back. But you know, it's all a matter of waiting and seeing what we're gonna get in Modern Warfare 3. Also, guys, from launch, we've already had all the content that is gonna be available, which is great. Um, so there is gonna be a, a absolute ton of stuff that's gonna be available from launch right away. Lots of different challenges. You know, we've got like 37 new weapons plus all the current existing weapons. So in total, we're gonna have 114 weapons. So if you guys haven't unlocked them in Modern Warfare 2, you can still go ahead and unlock them in Modern Warfare 3. There's gonna be a lot of weapon adjustments as well, um, but we actually have all the confirmed maps that's going to be in Modern Warfare 3, all the returning maps. So we're gonna have Afghan, Derail, Estate, Favela, High Rise, Invasion, Karachi, Quarry, Rundown, Rust, Scrapyard, Skid Row, Subbase, Terminal, Underpass, and Wasteland. So they're all the returning maps that we will be able to play in Modern Warfare 3 from the original Modern Warfare 2 uh, 2009 maps. So which of those are you most excited to go ahead and play? Personally, I can't wait to go ahead and play Scrapyard, Wasteland and Quarry. They're some of my favourite ever maps uh, from Call of Duty from the, modern, from the Modern Warfare series. A lot of my favourite maps are in the Black Ops series. I do prefer try out Call of Duty as myself. Um, obviously, it's all personal opinion. My favourite map after everything that is returning is one that we actually got to go ahead and play, which is Favela. Now, Favela is one of my all-time favourites. And I would also say Skid Row as well is one of my all-time favourites as well. So, you know, it's literally around the corner, guys. We've got, from me recording this video and from you guys watching it, we do currently have five days to wait until we have Modern Warfare 3. Now, everybody will get this from the exact same time, so you guys don't need to go ahead and change your time zone on when to, go, you know, to play this early. Everybody will be getting it all at the exact same time. No one's going to be getting this early. So if you guys are super excited for Modern Warfare 3, definitely smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, but as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.